In this video I want to talk about how to use a Firefox utility called Firebug. So in order to participate in this video you really want to have Firebug installed into Mozilla Firefox. If you don't care about learning how to use Fi Firebug that's fine with me. Um, it's really not going to make or break your grade or anything but it's definitely a helpful tool to learn how to uh, design for the web and understand things uh, in the browser and how they relate to your markup and your CSS. So I already have Firebug installed into Firefox. In order to access it, I need to have Firefox open and I need to have a web page open in Firefox. So what you want to do is just open up this page, the one that we have created where we've got the horizontal navigation in our three column layout or vertical navigation in our three column layout. It really doesn't matter. Just have one of your pages open, okay? Then we're going to click on down in the lower right hand corner of the browser over here in the very low right hand corner there's a little icon of a bug we're going to click on it when we click on it it brings up this uh, interface here this interface is uh, is firebug okay firebug allows us to look at the code that exists alright so this is my html right here if I want to, I can click over to the CSS tab and look at my CSS. Okay. Now, the other thing that's really cool about Firebug is it allows us to uh, click on different elements in our HTML. So I'm going to click on div ID header. Okay. And you'll notice when I hover over it, it highlights it blue so I can see what it is. Isn't that cool? Okay. When I click on that that element over here on the right tab, I can see the style that's associated with that. The only style that my ID header has is background color purple. So if I go and look back at my uh, my markup and CSS here in uh, Notepad++, I'll look up in the style sheet. And sure enough, header only has background color purple. So Firebug is a tool that's used to see how people have developed their web pages. Okay, right now we're just going to look at one that we created because it's going to be easy to see what's going on because we know the page and it's going to be easy to tell what each of the little pieces are. Later on, we'll take a look at some other web pages built by um, other designers. So let's look at some of the more complex things in here. These little plus and minuses open up all the things that exist within, um, within your code. So this is just the markup that I've already created and I'm just expanding it. Okay. So I've got a UL inside a nav container. Notice when I hover over nav container it highlights a blue bar from all the way from the left page to the left edge of the page to the right edge of the page. See that? Highlights, no highlight, highlight, no highlight. Okay. When I highlight over UL, it shows you where the UL exists. I run over LI, you can see where the LI exists. Okay. These LIs are all different items in our navigation list. Okay. The A. When I hover over the A, we can see where that link is. Now, this has two bits of highlighting. There's a light blue highlight and a dark blue highlight. And I want to explain what those two things are. Okay, So I'm going to click on A to select it. When I click on it to select it, over here it'll show the styles that, uh, that affect that. We've got the direct styles that come from my declaration nav container ul li a okay this does some descendant selection and in, for this i've got background color of dark blue i've got text color of white and you'll notice when i hover over these hexadecimal color um, values it shows you in this box what color they are so 003366 is this dark blue F, 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 F is this white. If I hover over the padding, well, nothing's going to happen. But uh, 
you can see this is my padding and this is my text decoration of none. Now I want to show you this tab called layout right here. Layout will show us exactly what we have going on. When I hover over margin, you'll notice I have zero margin top, zero margin bottom, zero margin right, and zero margin left. And it shows you there are some lines that uh, show you where the edges of my, of my element are. There's this thing on the outside that says offset. Offset tells us where the top is and where the left side is. So the top is at 25. The left side starts at 317 pixels. Okay. Border. There is no border on this, so the border isn't highlighted. Padding. Padding is 16 on the left and right and 3 on the top and bottom. So we can see that highlighted in the darker blue. And see how those lines move over to show you where the padding is and where the content is? See that? They're moving in and out, in and out. When I hover over content, the lines go just as wide as the content. When I hover over um, padding, it's as wide as the padding. Pretty neat, huh? So this is Firebug. It allows us to look at how people have built their websites. This is a very simple website. I'm actually going to go to Pickbox because it's a little bit more interesting. And that one is in column 2. So I'll have to expand column 2. Find the Pickbox. You notice when I hover over Div Class Pickbox, it highlights the whole thing. So I'll select it. I can look at the CSS here. Now I'll look at the layout. The offset here is 240 and 616. So it's 616 pixels from the left and 240 pixels down. It has a 10 pixel margin on the left side. You can see the margin appear on the left side. There will be a line that will show up just left of the pick box and right of my text content. See that? And that space in between that line and in between my box is the margin. Padding. I have three pixels above and three pixels below. Or sorry, border. I've got three pixel border on top, five pixel border on the bottom. So it shows you, shows you where that is. Padding. I've got five pixel padding all the way around. And then content is 700, 175 pixels wide by uh, 229 pixels high. So this is a really cool tool. Let's take a look at a, a different website here for a second. We'll go to a website called um, uh, A List Apart. A List Apart. And let's just firebug it really quickly. I'm not going to go through it all, but I would like you to, on your own, poke around in a list apart and see what they have done to create it. Poke around and see where they have margin and padding and where all their parts are. Um, enjoy this. Play around with it with a for a little while and see what you can see what you can learn.